Hello everyone, my name is Sean. Today I'd like to show you my final project for CIS 9467. Now before we get started, I'd like to just give you a little bit background. Now for this project, we are given four options and I picked to do VBA because I think that's the most re relevant to me. When I just got the project, I actually thought I was going to do an income statement because, you know, it's easy to find the data and then you can actually do a lot with an income statement. However, then I realized I'm, I'm in the pharmaceutical industry and more specifically, I am a lab person. I may never have to touch an income statement in my life or at least not for a very long time. Why not do something that's going to be useful for my job? Something that I can actually use to improve the productivity of my day-to-day -day work. Then I started observing in the lab to see what I can actually improve. And I found that we're actually lacking of a uh, LIM system. LIMS, short for uh, Laboratory Management System. A system which enables us to uh, both enter and pull out data. In addition, it can also allow us to trend our data. So I googled around and found out that VBA is the right tool for the job. In VBA, you can actually design user forms to enter and retrieve data from a table in Excel. Thus, I began my journey into VBA world. Now, I'd like to show you a glimpse, just a glimpse of how our department used to manage our data. So this is a spreadsheet that we use to keep all our data. So as you can see, we have multiple worksheets, a lot of them. We have one for each product code. So let's just see one. As you can see, uh, the information is on the left, the table is on the left. We have the batch number, you know, the, the dissolution, the weight variation, and the percent purity, which is assay, and then the date release and notebook information. All these are manually entered in the system. And then we need to, when, whenever we need to trend, we have to uh, you know, plot them in scatter charts. So every year, we actually spend a lot of time doing this to actually update our charts. And as you can see, they don't really look that nice. They look very disorganized. And you know, I just want to improve this. Now, going back to my uh, user form that I created, so this is the user form that I created for the QC department data entry form. So as you can see in this, uh, we can do two things here. We can either do data entry. We can both do data entry and data lookup, which is data search. In addition, I also integrated pivot table and pivot chart in this form. So we can actually hit a button and it will generate and uh, a SQC chart, so we don't have to be constantly updating our, our SQC charts. Now, when I hit this button, a user form is going to pop up. So as you can see, I have pre-entered. I mean, I built this VBA so that the data is automatically set on today's date. So this is just for convenience. You don't have to do this. So let's, let's try this, okay? So we're going to pick an analyst. I'm going to pick myself. Product code, I'm going to make up a number. Finished product 023. Lot number, I'm going to say P17A001. And I'm going to essay, I'm going to say 100%, which is just one. So average vari variation, which is content uniformity, I'm going to enter five. And product description, I'm going to see this is an aspirin product. So aspirin, 500 milligram tablets. Now, in order for this to go into a data form, I have to click this button, the added data, to, to add data. So once I click, they all disappear. So the, the VBA code was designed so that whenever I hit the end data, add data, all these fields are cleared out except for uh, date, for easy entry. So we can go to our database 
two ways. We can either click here, view database, or we can close this out and manually go to there. I prefer to just, you know, click here to view data. As you can see, it worked. Now I close my user form and I scroll all the way down. Let's see if uh, my entry is added. As you can see, my entry is added 2017, December 16th. So it's me, analyst is me. The product description is here, product code, lot number, percent purity, which is essay, and average variation. Everything is entered, so it works. Now you can go back by clicking, uh, give me a sec, clicking the return button. So uh, we'll uh, direct you back to the first page. Now this is to enter data. Now I'd like to show you how to pull data. So I designed another form, a data search form, the green button here. Once you click, it's a different form. As you can see, it looks different. Now let's say uh, I, I'm just going to randomly put something in there, gibberish, it doesn't make sense. So I know that this doesn't exist in the database. So let's see what happens. So once I click here, a message box actually pops out saying that results not found and uppercase only. So the only way, uh, the only, uh, the, the only two reasons why the data doesn't show up is either, you know, one, the results not found or you're not using uppercase because all the product lot numbers are entered in uppercase. So let's actually try one uh, product that's actually in the system. <clears throat> so I'm going to say, uh, I think it was uh, P17A001, right? So I'm going to look up data. As you can see, results found. So the date is polled, the analyst is polled, and the percent assay is polled. Let's see if uh, it's correct. And remember, it's a P17A001. I believe it's the first sample in our database. Regida, 98.5. Let's see if it's correct. I should have put a, you know, uh, to go to data database button here, but I forgot. It's okay. It's easy to do. So let's just go to our database and check. Yes, Regida, P17A001, 98.5, 3.4 variation. Everything is correct. I also put the data uh, lookup, which is the data search function over here. It's the same form you can click. So if you if you prefer to do it here, you can do so. So now I'd like to talk to you about another aspect of this project, which is pivot table and pivot chart, which I use to uh, do my trending. Trending is very important in our business because we like to see how our system varies, how our production varies over time to see if uh, if something went wrong, you know, if uh, the percent purity keeps going down, then something must be wrong. So the way I did it is if you go to your data entry form, you see all these buttons to generate HSQC chart. Once I click, click here, it generates, it generates my SQC chart automatically. So uh, as you can see, I have two slicers, analysts, and product code. So if I click this button here, it's gonna show me my trending for this product particularly. So here you can see nicely trending, very nice. So my table, my pivot chart is up there, is up here. My pivot table is down here, you can see. So there are two ways to do a uh, macro in, at least so far I know two ways. One is you actually code it, and the other way is actually recorded. So it's very tough to actually code SQC charts. So I went the other way. So I actually recorded my, my SQC chart. So I started from scratch, which clear table. I, I built this function there to clear table. And then I each I recorded my step, every step to get to here. So I click generate SQC chart. You can see it's very nice, very neat. You can actually switch tables. Let me show you, but you have to clear a table first before you switch to another type of uh, chart. So I want to see my personal performance. So as you can see, we have 
these are uh, okay give me a sec so these are all my analysts so I, as you can see the, the the numbers of essays they perform so far in this year so this is partic particularly good for management right so uh, however I it's it's very hard to go from one table to, uh, to from one chart to another chart because there are just too many buttons you have to click. So the way I I build this is that every time you just have to clear pivot table and then you go to this chart and then you clear pivot table again, you go to the next. This way you can always go back to your default. So I think this I what I built here is just a little mini version of a limb system, laboratory information management system. So it's kind of cool. So this concludes my presentation today. I hope you all enjoyed it.